Okay, today's the day. Uh, outdoor wooden basketball court. Um, got some inspiration from uh, Michael Johnson, his channel down in the States, but uh, we're doing our own kind of modified version. We'll see how this goes. We have a frame here that we've assembled of a uh, treated two by four. I got uh, 10 yards of, of uh, crushed gravel and I got my deck board. So I got lots of space here. We are going to do a 24 by 28 pad over here. We've got skid steer coming, <clears throat> removing the uh, the grass and soil, sloping things, put some uh, gravel down. Then we're gonna drag this frame over, get it all set, and then we're gonna scoop gravel in between all the boards, tamp it down, make it nice and firm, and level to the top of the boards so that when we put the deck boards on, they are touching the gravel. And that will be hopefully a nice uh, wooden basketball court. about eight hours since we started um, we've got tarred all the boards gravel down starting to put the boards down um, this will kind of be a little bit of a puzzle just to make sure the gravel's level but uh, yeah this this is the fun part I think Okay, so final thoughts. Here's the finished court. Um, you know, I'm happy with it. There's a few things I would do differently. First of all, the uh, my studs were, I put them too far apart. I can't remember, it's been like two feet. I don't know why I did that. I should have done 16 inches. Um, it would have just given that much more stability. I think I was just trying to save money. It would and honestly it only saved whatever three or four more studs would have been. So I would say, yeah, go 16 inches if you're going to try this route. I think the gravel is working well, but it is, again, just packing. So now I've been taking some of the boards off and some of the, the, the stuff where it's kind of packed down and adding more, which is totally doable, but just more of a pain. I wish it would have... Um, been able to just kind of have it nice and packed from the start and I did pack it from the start but uh yeah that having extra studs would have would have helped a lot more but yeah we're pretty happy with it um I made a little hoop for the kids over there and they have been able to work on some stuff and do some two on two that's kind of the size it can handle but uh, mostly it's me and my son just working on stuff in the yard having a nice flat space so pretty happy with it um but yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how it weathers. I plant a tarp it in the winter. And uh, yeah, and I don't have any plastic underneath the boards. It's just the rain goes through, washes through the gravel and dries up. Um, and that's been working pretty well for the first month with a lot of rain. So anyways, thanks again to Michael Johnson for the idea. And I kind of took it a different way, but um, lessons learned. Pretty happy with it and uh, we'll continue to tweak it as we go along.